So, is a J Stars Victory vs. sequel in the works? My guess, most likely yes. Now, before I get any further in this video, I want you guys to know I've been fighting off a very shitty cold for the past few days that just won't go away. So, my apologies if I sniffle or cough a little bit in this video because, you know, this cold has been beating the shit out of me for the past few days. I'm like, god damn. But, anyway, on to the topic of the video. A possible J Star Victory vs. sequel. Now, it's been a while since I made a discussion video about J Stars. I plan to do a couple more videos because we're getting very close to the release date, which is Mar uh, March 19th. So, we're about a week and a half away from release. So, we're getting pretty close. And there's been a lot of talk about a possible sequel in the works because some characters did. A lot of anticipated characters people were looking forward to, they got left out. I mean,. No Yo Asakura, as far as we know. No Yugi Moto. No Kanikuman. No, this, no Light Yagami. You know, characters that a lot of people were predicting to be in this game were not in the final roster. The final roster right now, in case you don't know, is 52 complete is 52 characters right now. Uh, 39 playable and 13 support characters. So that's like a total of 52 right there. Now, there's most likely going to be maybe hidden or secret unlockable characters in the game I'm not too sure any type of games that usually do have you know hidden characters you can unlock but there's no confirmation on that just yet so I'm I'm predicting there's gonna be at least one hidden surprise character that you have to unlock like once you like beat, maybe once maybe once you beat like the story mode you know you get like the secret character I don't know who it's gonna be but we'll find out soon enough now is there going to be a sequel? Hell yes. They're, they're definitely going to make a sequel to this game. I can definitely tell you that. At least, if not a sequel, at least some type of expansion. I mean, they've done this before with other games of this type. They've done it with um, Jump Superstars, which, which had Jump Ultimate Stars, which was released like a year later. And, you know, they, try, they, do, they typically do this with fighting games. And this game has a lot of hype going behind it, you know, it's definitely going to sell very well, if not well, at least great, in its first week in Japan. And it's already at least a couple thousand, or at least maybe a couple ten thousand of people who are planning to import it. Actually, you know, ten thousand seems a little bit, it seems, a see, that seems like I'm stretching a little bit. Uh, a couple thousand people, at least from what I've seen on the internet, from certain forums and certain you know, boards, message boards, are planning to import this game. Because, like to be honest, people are still holding up, holding up hope for, you know, a release in America and United States. Well, that's not going to happen, folks. I mean, as much as we want it, as much as we want to get this game, it's not going to happen. Because, you know, I don't feel like going over the reasons again. I've been, I've stated the reasons why we're not going to get a Western release before. So, if you don't know why, it's pretty obvious, you know. But a sequel is definitely going to happen because one, you definitely got to add in more characters because there's a long lineage of jump characters and jump heroes who pretty much help pave the way for Weekly Shonen Jump's current popularity right now. I mean, Weekly Shonen Jump is currently right now, it has been for like the past couple of decades, the most read Shonen magazine in Japan. And you know, there's a whole bunch of different series that have paved the way for this series. And 52 characters for at least the first game is definitely a lot. Even though most of them are support characters, well, at least uh, at least one third of them are support characters, it's still a hefty amount of characters for the first game. And no one was really predicting we would get this many characters in the first game alone. So, the second game, I'm expecting maybe at least double or at least maybe 20 new playable characters. Maybe some supports get turned into playable as well because they already got the model down. I can totally see Alan Walker being playable in the sequel. I can totally see see Hisoka becoming playable in the sequel. I mean they already got the models down. So they don't have to worry about rebuilding, you know, designing the models. They already got the models and all they have to do they already got the move sets. So what I have to do is you know tweak them a little bit, get them some fancy specials, you know, bring the voice actors back in to do some new recording and have the, and you already have more playable characters right there. It's just that simple. And also, you know, there's other jump heroes, you know, like Ryo Sayaba from Sadie Hunter, you know, some other 
maybe not well known to the Western audience, but at least well known to people who are pretty knowledgeable about Jump, who know about some characters in the series as well. So I definitely see a sequel coming, and it's most likely going to come at least, if not this year, at least next year, because if this game does so uh, well, I mean. What company in their right mind would not want to make a sequel to a game like this if it does sell well? I mean, companies love money, and this game does, you know, sell like Game Busters, which it definitely will. I definitely tell you that without a shadow of a doubt. A co the company, uh, Namco Bandai, Spike, Chusoff, who's ever working on it, they're going to jump on it, and they're going to release a sequel. It's definitely happening in the future. So what do you guys think? Who do you guys want to see in the sequel? I definitely want to see Alan Walker playable. I definitely want to see Light Yagami make an appearance. You know, I definitely want to see my boy Sakuraji from Slam Dunk, one of the series that is one of the most sold series in for Weekly Show to Jump, and it's not in the game. So they're definitely gonna add Sakuraji in the sequel if they, you know, they're planning on doing a sequel soon. So uh, just give me your thoughts, guys. Who do you guys want to see in the sequel? And what kind of things, what kind of tweets you want to see in the sequel once they release it. So let me know. Comment, rate, subscribe. <clears throat> Fucking cold. I'll catch you guys again next time. Keep on keeping up. Peace.